Hey, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add WordPress internal links to improve your SEO. Plus, you don't want to miss this post that covers what internal links are, how they can help your site get indexed by Google, how they can help boost your search engine results, and a lot more. I'll leave a link in the description. Now, we're going to cover two methods to build internal links in WordPress. First, we'll look at a link assistant tool, and then we'll show you an easy way to use related posts and top products. Let's get started. Now, the first method to build internal links is to use All-in-One SEO's Link Assistant. Now, to start building internal links in WordPress, you'll need All-in-One SEO's Pro version. Once you get the plugin downloaded and installed, just go to your admin sidebar and find All-in-One SEO. And then select Link Assistant. Now, you'll see an overview of your links. Now, to start building your internal links, just head to the Links Report tab. And then click on Linking Opportunities. Now you can click on a post to view all the suggestions for internal links to add to it. The table shows you the title of the post that you want to link to, the phrase and anchor text where it suggests placing the link, and the Add Link button. If you like the link suggestion, well, go ahead and click Add Link, and it will be added for you. You don't have to edit any post. It's all done with a click, so you can see how Link Assistant can save you hours of time trying to manually build links on your site. And that's not all. All-in-One SEO has another amazing tool for external and internal linking in WordPress, the Broken Link Checker. It's an awesome WordPress plugin that allows you to keep your linking structure free from errors. It'll notify you if you have any broken links, and you can use inline editing to fix the problems with just a couple of clicks. This keeps you from having to go through the process of updating individual posts and pages. Plus, it'll keep any broken links from being crawled by search engines that can negatively impact your SEO. I'll leave a link in the description to the broken link checker so you can check it out. All right, now let's look at the second method, adding popular products and posts to your site. Now, the easiest way to do that is to use the Monster Insights popular post widget. Now, Monster Insights is the best Google Analytics plugin for WordPress that allows you to easily connect your WordPress site with Google Analytics so you can view all the data that matters most right on your WordPress dashboard. And with just a click of a button, you can set up sophisticated tracking features such as event tracking, e-commerce tracking, form tracking, custom dimension tracking, outbound link tracking, and a whole lot more. Now, to use the popular post or popular products widget, just head to the pricing page and get started with Monster Insights at the plus level or above. Setting up Monster Insights is easy. Just follow the setup wizard. If you still need a little help, then see our step-by-step -step guide on how to add Google Analytics to WordPress. Okay, once you've got it all set up, just head to Insights and then to Popular Posts. Now you'll need to choose a look that you want, like the inline popular post layout, which automatically displays posts within the text of your poster page, the popular post widget that'll show up to 10 blog posts anywhere on your site in a widget, like a sidebar, the end of an article or the footer, or the popular products layout that displays 10 of your top selling products on your e-commerce store. Monster Insights provides some great pre-built themes so you don't have to worry about the design and style. And since the plugin shows a preview of each theme, you can see how it looks before using it on your site. For more on all the settings and features of the Monster Insights popular post widget, be sure to check out our article on how to display your most popular posts in WordPress step by step. And there you have it. That's how to add WordPress internal links to improve your SEO. And we hope that you found it helpful. Don't forget to check out the links in the description for more details. Thank you for watching, and remember to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this. We'll see you next time. See your Google Analytics data in WordPress with Monster Insights. Get 50% off right now and subscribe for more helpful content like this.